Good morning, everybody. This is Richie Nasso, founder of LPQ Strategy. This is your market preview for February 27, 2024. Okay, well, the week hadn't started out great. They showed signs of weakness. Uh, listen, it's nothing to panic about, but 15 out of the last 17 weeks have been green. I mean, I know we're all a little spoiled, but there's no guarantee that this, this craziness uh, will continue. Uh, this is a rip-roaring week where there are plenty of stuff and announcements and Fed speak is coming. Uh, durable goods tomorrow morning, uh, excuse me, durable goods this morning. Case Schiller Index, 9 o'clock. Uh, 10 o'clock, consumer confidence, which I think could be significant. A con could be a significant, could have a significant effect on the market. Consumers, consumers dictate the market, not the one percenters, folks. It's the mid-America, middle-income consumers. So this this has the ability uh, to shake the market up with some with some additional volatility. Not that it needs any more, okay? Not that it needs any more. Uh, Wednesday, a lot of Fed speakers speaking, but Thursday's the PCE. This is the biggest. Uh, this this report the Fed watches very closely, okay. And in, in this day and age, and at this cycle of the market, that uh, is going to provide significant volatility. That's what I'm going to say. But we got a lot to go between now and then. So the week has started out <clears throat> a little softer. Uh, so let's talk about some support areas. Uh, 80, 82, the market actually closed after the close, traded below this 82, 80, 82 area. It was major support. It now becomes resistance on the way up. 74, 76 is a support, which is really where it got down to today in that area, 76 and a half, I believe, uh, meaning yesterday. I'm doing this at night, folks, okay? Uh, 50, 66 is major. And 5046 is major. This is basically healthy if the market tests these areas. Uh, but if they break the, if they break these areas, they, they have to seek another level. Okay, and coinciding with the rest of the announcements that are coming this week. Okay, so keep an eye on that. Resistance areas. Uh, 5093, 5108, 5112, 514346. These are major resistance areas. So, I mean, basically, um, if 66 fails, it's probably uh, going to change the structure of the market. Maybe down to 46. Uh, I don't really know, but trade what you see. Don't overtrade in this environment. There's going to be plenty of volatility uh, starting today for the rest of this week. You can bank on it. Have a great day, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thank you so much.